virus has appeared from nowhere, and depending on the reports you see in mainstream media, 100,000 to 400,000 are infected. It causes birth defects in children. Now, I know there's declassified memorandums like State Department Memorandum 200 and, 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 and many others admitting covert bioweapon programs against the American people and other populations. Everybody knows about Tuskegee injecting black people with syphilis and telling them they were getting the vaccine. Most people know about the UN being caught in the 90s and again a few years ago adding sterilant chemicals to vaccines and, and, and hormones bound to vaccines to sterilize women from India to Mexico. But investigative journalist John Rappaport uh, has really looked into this and is saying, is it more of a hoax? Now, we know Bill and Melinda Gates are involved pushing mosquitoes that deliver vaccines. I had... Dr. Francis Boyle, the author of the U.S. and U.N. Biological Weapons Treaty that was passed on a leading expert worldwide, and he said he believes it is a bioweapon race-specifically delivered. It's not race-specific, but it's in race-specific geographical areas and designed for more equatorial areas. No more fake news.com. Some stations don't carry this first five minutes. So they'll have to recap everything else after the break. Uh, John Rappaport uh, joins us to give us his take on this. Uh, is this a simulant to get us fearful and say don't have kids till 2018 like the UN saying, or they'll be deformed? Is that the population control, mind control? Or does the virus itself cause the population control? Uh, smart guy, I want his opinion on this because I don't think we know yet uh, here in the war room, but let's, let's analyze it. John Rappaport, what do you think? Hi, Alex. Okay, so this is a hoax and yes, it's information, mind control, postponed pregnancy, depopulation by press conference, don't have babies, et cetera, et cetera. So this is going to be a medical operation against Brazil that's going to involve vaccines and all other manner of medical drugs and so forth. So, so it's a Galian dialectic. They scare them and they bring in the vaccines, the medical tyranny, martial law, right as the country's rebelling against IMF control. You bet. Brick Nation, all of that. But let me just turn this around because we have new information that's breaking now because the Brazilian health officials have gone back and re-examined these cases where they said that there is microcephaly, which is babies born with small heads and brain damage. And they originally said 4,180 cases in is. Brazil. And now they're saying they've only confirmed 270 cases and of those, only six, they found the Zika virus. That is completely insane. And on top of that, I have more information, and this comes from, you know, standard medical authorities in the U.S., that every year in the U.S., there are 25,000 cases of microcephaly. So what are we talking about here? Christopher Columbus didn't bring the Zika virus with him to the U.S., it turns out that any insult to the brain in early pregnancy can cause this condition. Ah, oh, like vaccines. Exactly. So maybe it's the cover that this is becoming so prevalent. Look at Obama's little head. Uh, I, mean, I mean, maybe this is what's causing the fact that we look like pygmies. Of course. And on top of this, Brazil uses more pesticides than any nation in the world. Bang, bingo. Atrazine, for example, and Roundup. I publish now on uh, No More Fake News studies that show that those pesticides are in fact linked to smaller heads and babies and brain damage. So they're covering all of this up because they are determined to sell as much poisonous pesticide in Brazil as possible. So this is now off the table for a point of discussion because everything is now focused on Zika. Virus. Well, I think you're really on to something here because I know that all these different um, environmental crises are causing. I, mean, I remember seeing a PBS report like 20 years ago that one third of the kids in Mexico City have the thing with a tiny head and like no brain. They have a brain stem. It's like a, you, have, you give birth to a vegetable because the water they drink, the U.S. dumps all its toxic waste in Mexico, basically Mexico City. And it showed people that like get one hour of water a day out of the spigot and it's all this. So is the Zika the cover for other programs that are going on? From the front lines of the information war. We did 
It's the Alex Jones Show, now into the second hour, finishing up with John Rappaport of NoMoreFakeNews.com. Recap till we go to break. Then we're coming back with David Knight, who was out in Oregon, where the globalists are trying to start a civil war in America. We'll get into election more, but uh, John Rappaport, you're saying the Zika virus. Break down for those that have heard about it but don't know what it is, what it is, where it's going, and what you think is really behind it. Because Brazil's on the verge of throwing out the IMF and World Bank. They're the cutting edge of resisting the globalists. They've joined the BRICS. And right away they say, don't have kids for three years or your kids will all be deformed. But this, this disorder of the children with shrunken heads and small brains is all over the West already, not caused by Zika. You're saying it's a cover story. What's behind it? Decode it for us, Mr. Rappaport. The cover story is Zika virus is causing babies to be born with small heads and brain damage. But the revised statistics out of Brazil from their own officials now are saying they can only confirm 270 cases of these babies in a country of 200 million people. So they have a much lower statistic than us. Yeah, much lower, because in the U.S. every year, 25,000 cases Whoa. Of, of this, and from many different causes. And not only that, but the Brazilian health officials are saying, wait a minute, we can only find the Zika virus, which is supposed to be causing this condition in babies, in only six babies so far. So all of a sudden, they're revamping the whole hysteria, and they are going to get attacked like crazy because the... Well, you continue to be on target then. Explain to us then what you think's behind this hysterical fear-mongering. Because, I mean, let me tell you something. I, I, you've always been right, but so has somebody like Boyle, who wrote the U.S. Biological Weapons Treaty. He's saying... It, that that it's been weaponized and that it's been manipulated and to you know to reduce fertility. But you're saying, hey, it's not as bad as they're saying. So how do I take him, who I really have learned to respect, and you, who I respect, and then integrate those two worldviews? Well, I would say he's right in the sense of you know you can put any virus in a lab and try to weaponize it, and maybe you can. But as far as actually saying he knows that this virus already has been weaponized. I think if you went back to him, he would not go that far. He would say it could be, maybe. Well, he has high-level sources, um, and we have some of those, obviously, we can't mention. But he's talked to top bioweapons people, and they say that they say this is, this is something special. But, but I get what you're saying. We, per capita, have got way more many cases than they do caused by other things. So what's going on here? Is it a cover for something else they're doing? You know, yeah. they'll release another weapon or a chemical and then say something else did it. That's like AIDS is a simulant virus where something else, I heard this from my dad decades ago, that later came out in the news, is actually another operation. Yes, of course. I mean, the operation here is going to be the vaccine. They're going to put this vaccine into effect. It's going to be incredibly toxic. It's going to debilitate people, make them very sick, kill them. And on top of that, they are already attacking Brazil in a massive way through chemicals because Brazil is the largest user of pesticides in the world. I've seen the documentaries where whole towns are dying from whatever they're using down there. I mean, it is crazy. Absolutely. This is not a virus. This is you spread chemicals around and people die. Well, remember what Kissinger said in 1974 in April in Memorandum 200 that was declassified in the 90s. He said, we're going to authorize the use and sale of chemicals in Latin America that we wouldn't hear to kill them. Well, it's interesting you bring that up, Alex, because of the pesticides that Brazil is using, some of them are already banned in 22 other countries. Oh. Okay. So there you have it. And I've linked through studies two of these Roundup and Atrazine pesticides to birth defects, smaller heads. It's all there in the literature. So there is already a massive attack on Brazil. Oh, so, so it's chemicals that we know do it. So they say it's viral. Of course. That's the easy way out. Because now they can come in behind that and say, therefore, we have to bring all the doctors in. We have to treat everybody. We have to give you the bug sprays that are against the mosquitoes and the bug sprays. More chemicals to counter the chemicals, things. claiming it's a, oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. That's the operation in a nutshell. So chemical, 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 until, you know, the country is completely decimated. And it's well on the way now. And, of course, as you mentioned, Brazil is one of those brick nations that is looking at the IMF, that is looking at the World Bank and saying, hey, we don't really need that. We can have our own monetary system. Oh, yeah? Well, if that's your position, 
you are going to be in for a world of trouble. And regardless, they're going to kill all their tourism saying don't go to Brazil because of Zika. Of course. Yeah, so it's a, stealth, it's a stealth sanction. Sure. And now we're going to have the Rio Olympics, right, which is going to become a poster child for, uh, well, the Zika problem and this. and the Medical, medical tyranny problem. responding yeah. to Zika. You know they're going to have a Zika vaccine now. You, you, you bet. They're are they already calling time. for that? Because I... I'm, Oh, yeah, they've got companies that are already massively working on it, rushing into clinical trials, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, of course. And then, and then the hundreds of thousands that go or millions that go to cover it and be part of it will take the Zika vaccine. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, sure. Guys, That's hard to get you on and disagree with you because when I look at the facts, you're, you're on target again, John. What else as we go to break? I want to get back for a full hour in the next few weeks. Really appreciate all the work you do. What else are you looking at right now, my friend? Well, I've been looking at this uh, uranium connection to southern Oregon, where the sand off in the shooting was. The sale of U.S., 20 percent of U.S. uranium production to the Russians. Putin now controls 20 percent of U.S. uranium production. And there were meetings in that area in 2011-12 in southern Oregon, right around there, to open up new uranium mines. Clinton Foundation is involved, State Department Foundation involved to allow the sale of uh, this company, Uranium One, to Putin and the Russians. So the last thing the feds wanted was all kinds of attention drawn to this area with patriots going in there and, hey, wait a minute, this is a uranium land. And the Clinton That's Foundation right. is involved. Et so even if it's a fiasco... It's still good to draw attention. I, I'm so blessed to have such incredible brains like you on the show. Try to come on this week with my friend for a full hour to flesh all this out, John. Would love to. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. What an amazing America. No more fake news.com. I'm Alex Jones, infowars.com.